Hey, what's up, guys? We're about to work out today. I'm working out with two of my clients and friends, Valerie and Maya. They are both um, yeah, yeah. in contest prep right now for spring shows coming up. So we're going to be doing legs today. We'll show you guys. Me and Val have been training for probably the last five or six weeks together leading into the show. Um, so we're probably going to do the workout that we've been doing for the last five or six weeks. You guys follow along. Um, today, pre-workout, a little bit tired. I had a little bit of a crazy morning. So I'm doing the variant today, um, the 001, oh, yeah. which is Thank the stimulant you. version. Yeah. This product is packed, yeah. has 11 grams of citrulline. You guys compare this to any other pre-workout on the market as far as performance ingredients. This is the strongest product. We designed okay. it specifically for Nick Walker, who uh -huh. pound for bound has the most muscle probably in the world. So if you guys are looking for a strong pre-workout, make sure to try this. There is a stim free version as well. So we've been kicking off the workout with one of these two versions, you know, the, the first one that ever came out is called the Gladiator. This one sort of mimicking the same movement, different brand. Uh, so we'll do like three, four sets here. Just warm up the glutes before we go on to our hamstring exercise. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get after it. I don't really, we don't really like go to failure here. We're not really using this exercise to like kill it or break numbers. We're just simply trying to like wake things up, turn on the muscle, get warmed up before we move on to some other work. You basically want to control the movement throughout. So on the on the positive, she's squeezing her glutes and then it's lengthening and you're controlling that negative. You know, you're never like letting off tension, like really controlled, really isolated. And she's almost pushing her back into the pad. You're not, you're not arching like this. You're almost pushing your back, protracting into the pad to really bias the glutes and not throw in like the TFL. The, the problem with a lot of people is they go on here and they just use a lot of momentum and they just throw it. They yeah. throw and catch. Where it's like you want to actually use your muscle at any time. Someone should be able to be like, stop, and you stop. You know, whether that's on the positive or the negative. Good. Try to hold it at the top. Hold it, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Yeah, there yeah. You go. hold it for a second like that. One, two, good. Good, much better. That's it. Good. Hold it up. Yep. Push hard to your feet. That's it. Good. Yeah, there you go. Four. There you go. Stay strong. That's it. Three. Good. Two more. Good. Hold the last one. Hold it. Squeeze. Hold. Squeeze. 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 Good job. Just really get the hamstrings activated. Good. You're lengthening. Lowering under control. Good, it's perfect. Perfect. And we'll just aim for like 10 reps. Control the negative. You're only focused on the negative. Only Good. focus on the negative. That's it. One more. Control. Good job. Very good. Two, that's it. One more through, 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 through. Ho! Good. How much did you do last week? I think I went to one. One something. I think I rested and went 135. It was really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Controlling all the way down, fully lengthening, and then driving through. Good, you got more. <clears throat> Come on. Right through, you got one more. <laughs> Call that negative. Good work. I'm gonna help you on the way up, okay? And control the negative. I'm gonna lift it. Control. Oh, fuck, no. Good job. <laughs> well, that was failure. <laughs> that was nothing left. <laughs> the negative was that hard, eh? It was that hard, the negative? Yeah, just, there was like, Done? No, yeah, nothing to like hold wow. there. So really understanding here too, right? Just where the direction's going. So as you first starts that movement, 
It's pulling back there by the end of it. But the first portion of the movement, this is pulling down and then back, right? You're pulling down and then behind you. And same, same idea in this one. She's pushing her lower back into it and not arching. So you're almost like crunching your abs down. You're almost like bracing down with your, with your abdomen so that everything's stable and you're just isolating your hamstrings. Good. Good. Good work. Good. Good. With your toe? Yeah. With your legs, shoulder sense. Good. Good. Good, yeah. Push that back in the butt. Yeah. Push that back? Yeah, there you go. Just crunch over a bit. Crunch your abs in. There you go. One more. Good job. And always making sure your hip, your hip, knee, and ankle are always like a, a train track. They're in line. Right? A lot of people will like, if it's, if it's off, you just want to make sure that alignment's straight. When you uh, are set up in here, right, you might feel a little weird. You're like, you want to push, right? A lot of people want to push because they want to arc their back and they want to like, throw it behind them. So when Val was telling you to push your back into it, it's almost like you're crunched and I'm pushing my back into it. And if I'm grabbing these, it's almost as if I'm grabbing these, I'm not pushing down on them, I'm pulling them up. And almost like when this goes down, almost like I wanna roll over this. Like I'm pulling up to like go over it. You know, just isolate the hamstrings a little more versus like bracing yourself and using leverage. Yeah. It's you're very like, common. You're like, instead of like being here, you're like pushing this back, push yeah. that back in my hand, you're back, you're back, yeah. Think of like that. You're like crunching. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I just picture crunching my abs You're and I'm like pushing just my like lower here, back. Bracing that. You know. Good. Ho. Oh. Thank you. Off of it, right? Like you're like there you go. gonna come right over it. Lower backs on the pad, though. There you go. Good. Just there. Good. Good. So stretch all the way, stretch, 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 stretch. Good. Good. Come on, you got it. Don't Good. rush it, okay? Get length and curl it. Squeeze. Curl. Good. Good, that's it. Good, yes, one more. Be patient, control that negative and one more. Control, don't be in a rush. Right through. Good job. Good job. Good job. <sighs> You're still getting full length to the top. Good. One more. <sighs> Staying calm. Good job. Good job. Good rep. That wasn't what I saw you. You know what I mean? The, the calmer you can stay when it's hard as can be and the more focused you can be, rather you like shorten the rep and get that full length and maybe not get all the way contracted, then like cheap out on getting length and then like jerk it and the quality is always even better than just hitting a number. Five. Mm. Good, let's go. Six. Mm. Good. Seven. Mm. Good. Eight. Mm. That's it. Two more. Good. Yes, <sighs> one more. Wow. Good. That was heavy. Ho! Oh. So you notice like throughout the entire rep, right? It's smooth. There's no jerking. There's no like explosive. It's just it's using a ton of control. Composed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slow. Good job. Good job. Good job. You could see though, like your body, your nervous system on like the sixth rep, it was like it gave out. You couldn't, you almost like didn't get the rep in the hole. 
but then after like your body like almost learned it and understood it and then you could do it yourself you know because like, you might have a tendency when you have weight on there yeah. to shoot out of the hole to yeah. explode out of the hole so you're yeah. not strong in that little range right, right. Where now, if you do this for a little bit and you go back to explosive, you'll be like a lot stronger. Get three, okay? One, two, three. One. Good, right down, right down. Two. Right down. Oh, fire. Yes. Got one more like that. Come on, right down, right down. This is a wrap. Good job. Good work. Good. Four, that's it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good. Oh. Oh. So pressure to your feet, slow, slow, slow. There you go. As soon as you get to the top, go right back down, okay? Slow, slow, slow. Right down. Yes, there you one go. One more, one more like that, okay? Yep. We're done. One Stay more strong. like that. In your head, breathe. Right slow, through. slow, yes. slow, yes. That's a wrap. Good job. Good, Good job. Jumping. Good work. Seven, good, three more, very slow those. Slow, slow, slow. There you go, two more like that. Good, last one. Very, very slow, 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 slow. Yes, there you go. Make it hard. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Oh, good my gosh. Oh. That was a good one. Oh. Wow. It's not fun. Uh huh? That's not fun. <sighs> All right, so we just finished up with some hack squats. Uh, before that, after the long hamstring curl, we did the seated hamstring curl. We like to do two hamstring movements before coming on to you know, our compound movements. Today was a hack squat. This was the second week doing hack squats at that tempo. With Val, it seems like every two weeks, every three weeks, we've been switching it up. You know, for a while, we tried, we tried to get very strong. We were doing more explosive reps. But Val seemed to have a weakness when she get the bottom of the hole. She wasn't very strong there. So we backed off and now we're doing more tempo reps, which is gonna cause her body to be able to have to control and use every range of the movement. Um, so then we'll switch back to a different style and then she'll have a little bit more strength in those areas of weakness. And it's very, very challenging to be doing three seconds down, three seconds up, you know, especially as you're putting heavier weight on there. So now we moved over to um, the Rogers hip press. Um, this has been a staple movement for Val in the contest prep. Um, it's a really great movement. So we'll do three or four sets here, and then we'll probably finish up with some leg extensions. Again, just making sure her hip, her knee, her ankle are in alignment. And it's like that, that uh, foot, the heel is just falling into the hamstrings. And her, her, her butt doesn't, her back, as long as her back is solid on this back pad, her butt doesn't need to be on the seat. The seat is angled like this for a reason. The seat's angled like this, because when you're sitting on it, that weight is taking you up. So as long as your back is braced against this, you can float on that seat. So depending on your mechanics, because you guys are shorter, yeah. you're probably gonna feel very comfortable being on the seat. But for someone who's a little taller, who has longer limbs, they might find, hey, I need to be a little bit higher. And they'll just, like I float on it. Because I have a really long shin. So you might be okay here. Under a ton of control. Good. Just think about straightening that leg as you get in the hole. Straighten leg. Yep. In control. Good. See, I kind of float. I'm not on the seat. I'm kind of like, my ass is kind of off of it. But as long as my lower back is braced against this, 
that's fine. Straighten those legs. Good. 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 Nice. Good work. Good. That's like a piston. Good. That's, That's it. it. I got you. Come on. Good. You have five more like that. Come on. One. Lost control. Two. Three. Good. Two control, more like control. that. That's one of you. Four. One more. Good. Let's strip that. Strip one plate. I'll strip one. Let's Maybe go. quite a bit lighter. Finish it off. Five reps at least. Don't stop. One, yes. Two, yes. Three, come on. Three, four, five. Three. Control, four, control, make them so. Five, one more. Six, one more. Seven, go to eight. Go to eight, right down. Good work. Good work. Good work. In a rhythm. Good. Good. That's the wrap. Good job. Good work. Good job. My turn. Wow, that's heavy. Last couple of sets are the worst. First couple of sets. Four. That's it. Four. Good. Three more. Good. That's it. Last two. One more. Oh my Good gosh. Job. I'm starting to go dizzy. <laughs> oh. Did the, the water go down? I think so. <laughs> Oh, I actually started going like dizzy. <laughs> really, eh? Yeah. I was like, oh. That's about to pass out of the Good. Good. That's it. It's easy to like load this up and then people end up lifting their hips too. They end up in this position. And they're th they're doing this, so their their ass is up, their knee is that way, the range of motion is like this. This pad is moving this much, where if I'm, you know, down, hips are down, and I'm pulling up. This has to pull down and behind me, fully lengthening this. Just gonna isolate the, the thigh more. Yeah, that looks pretty full. Good. And it's like your leg is going around this pivot. This pivot's going through my knees. I'm going around this. That's it. Come on. Good. Good. Good work, good work. There you go. Two more. <laughs> That's it. One more. Through, 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 through. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. I just got asked what's the most effective like calf exercise. And I think, you know, whether it's a standing, a seated, whatever kind, I think they're all just effective. They're just hitting different parts of the calf. But it's important how you're doing it. So you notice Val here, her ankle as she descends is going backwards. And then she's coming forwards and pushing against my hand. So it's more what the ankle is doing. It's going front to back to here. Now it's coming forward versus up and down. And once you understand that, that important key function of the calf, it's actually driving your ankle forward. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come to my, my hand. 
and then this is going back. And once you understand that, I think it's just gonna allow you to put a lot more into your calf training. And that applies for every movement, whether you're standing, whether you're seated, whether you're on something like this machine here. So give that a try. Driving that ankle forward, and then it's going backwards. Forward and backwards. They'll think like, oh, I need to get a deep stretch. But a deep stretch hanging off your toes, like as, as stretch as I can get with my calf is like, you know, that, that is it stretch. That's pushing my ankle back. Now it's not any more of a stretch if I'm on a ledge and I'm pushing my ankle back right now, it's fully stretched, but now I can hang off that and go further down when I'm hanging off my foot. So it's important to not like on these machines, let your foot like hang off of it and thinking like, oh, I'm getting deeper. I'm getting more range in the calf. You're just getting like more range in your foot. If that makes sense. Because I got drop foot and I hurt my perennial nerve. I got no tibia on this one and this tibia is huge. I lost full function of this foot for almost a year. And this calf is way smaller. helped a lot if, if anyone does deal with an injury and you do have like drop foot or any like nerve problem in your shin like if you look close this one I have a big tibia the muscle on this one here I lost it there's no muscle here it's starting to develop back here um, so what I've had what I've been doing is a Jim Laco makes a tibia machine behind bow and that's been helping me big time bring back you know with the nervous system getting more connected with the tibia and it's been like 15 months now since I lost function of it, and it like lost all the muscle, but it's slowly rebuilding now. Burn it out. Good job. All right, so that is the workout. We are all done. We just finished some calves. Um, so that's a typical leg workout uh, with contest prep for Valerie. Uh, you know, Maya's joining us today. This is something a little bit different than she normally yeah, does. She's preparing for some shows and they're going to be doing the Toronto Pro Qualifier. And I'm pretty confident she's going to get a pro card this year. We'll see her on pro stage very, very soon. Cool thing with Toronto, I think the pro qualifier is the day before. So if she does turn pro, we can do the pro show the next day. So that's very cool. Um, yeah, guys, make sure to comment down below. Let us know if there's anything you want to see more of. I uh, appreciate all your guys' support on this channel. To see this channel grow over the last four years has been amazing. Um, love to hear from you guys. Until next time.